On Thursday, February 18th, the moon will be in Taurus all day. Again, a great factor seeing as all of the other aspects are, you know, highly excitable, highly chaotic, highly conflicting. We really need that emotional grounding that the moon in Taurus is going to continue to give us. What takes place today that is going to be a major shift is the sun moves out of Aquarius and into Pisces. So as we kind of explored in this month's energy forecast, which if you haven't tuned into that, you should definitely go take a peek because I can go a little bit more in depth in those energy forecasts than I can do in these weekly forecasts. Um, But Pisces season typically is not favored by many. Reason being, Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. It is the last house in the wheel in which we all have to experience before jumping into a brand new astrological calendar starting in Aries season. That's when spring happens. That's when life gets created once again. But until then, we have some closure to do. We have some healing to do. Pisces energy is emotional. It is attached to the greater, grander collective, even though it is the unconscious collective, the shadow part of the collective. It is still picking up on the subtle energies of everything else around us. We can go from zero to 60 in less than 60 seconds with our emotional outbursts. We are highly empathetic. We are picking up on every single thing that is happening in our subconscious self and in our conscious self and in our external worlds surrounding us. So Pisces season is going to really test us. It is when sadness comes up, when depression comes up, when we feel isolated and lonely. And a lot of that is because the shadow self, the unconscious part of our own selves and the collective is asking for attention. It's rising to the surface in order for us to acknowledge it, for us to do something about it, for us to say, oh, wow, I didn't realize that that part of me was still so dark and damaged and asking for healing. And so many of us dread Pisces season. So with this very first day of Pisces season, we have six aspects that the moon is making. Again, it's a good thing that the moon is in Taurus, but it is going to still trigger us, not only because we had a pretty large day yesterday, but because Venus will be semi-squaring Chiron. Again, Chiron is the wounded healer. Venus, very much representative of love and money and pleasure and long-term futuristic planning. So we have some blocks coming up, especially in our relationships. We're seeing where it is that maybe we are wounded and blocking the intimate connection with our loved ones. Instead of focusing on, in on the similarities that, you know, unite us in our personal relationships and in the greater, grander collective, this energy kind of puts the focuses in on the differences, which has a feeling of isolation. It has a feeling of disconnect. And we're just really not that empathetic right now. We haven't adjusted to this Piscean energy yet. So there's a little bit of a negative mind frame that comes in here. We definitely kind of move inward. We, we want to disconnect from our social scene. We want to disconnect from our external realm. We kind of just want to escape inside of ourselves to do a little bit of thinking, a little bit of contemplating. Definitely would put it on the calendar to expect to feel kind of low and slow. Again, the moon in Taurus, we have, you know, Venus and Chiron really slowing things down so that we can move inside of ourselves. That new Piscean energy wants us to slow down so that we feel all the feels. Definitely not going to be a comfortable day, but it is absolutely necessary for us to really, really get in touch with what it is that our shadow self, those not so nice thoughts and feelings, want us to accept and acknowledge that are still alive within us so that we can do our job and heal those parts of ourselves.